The topic of this lesson is using linear equations to solve real-world problems. So we have a word problem here that kind of talks about something that I've seen my students go through a number of times. <laughs> it says that Wesley has a 15-page report and it's due in two weeks. And he knows he's written the first three pages and it's only been nine days so far. He wants to know how long he can continue to stall if he's sure he can write three times as fast as he has so far. So let's look at the information we have. First of all, we know he's written three pages in nine days. So if he's written three pages in nine days, three ninths reduces to one third. So, so far he's been writing one third of a page per day. So each day he writes another one-third of a page. That's why it's taken him nine days to write three pages. Now, if he were to continue at that rate, he has three pages done out of his 15 pages, so he needs 12, 12 more pages. If he were to continue at this rate, a third of a page per day, then it takes him three days to write a single page. So at this rate, three days per page, it would take him 3 times 12, or 36 more days. So obviously he's going to have to step up his pace a lot, right? So if he thinks he can actually write that 3 times as fast as he had, then instead of writing at a third of a page per day, we'd have 3 times 1 third of a page per day. which would mean that he'd write a whole page per day because our threes would cancel, right? So if he writes three times as fast as he has been, then he'll write one page per day. And he needs 12 more pages, so one page per day times 12 days. The AY would be 12 more days. So if he has two weeks left, that's 14 days, then we have 14 minus 12, or two days that he can still mess around and not get to work, assuming, you know, he really does think he can work three times as fast as he has been, and that in two more days he's not going to be looking to see how much faster he'd have to work to stall one more day. <laughs> so there's using a, a linear equation, really a linear process, I suppose. That wasn't really a very good linear equation, uh, but a linear process to solve uh, a real-world problem. I mean, uh, what we did here was really find the rate of change, which was the slope of his information. So the slope here was one-third, and then find the second slope of the increased rate, which was one over one. Then we applied those slopes to a given input, in this case a number of days, to see how many papers or how many pages he could write using the slope that we had in that time. So it was a linear equation. It was just sort of applied directly to the real world. So there you go.